much <clears throat> knowledge they had over that shit. The what? And ability to get a lot of it to give to people. Oh, like, like grow the mushrooms? Yeah. They're probably just wild. I think they just... Yeah, they grow, they'd find them in the cow shit. Imagine being a hot... <laughs> That's true. Imagine how no, hard it must have been <laughs> to be the hot Viking girl in a village and how much she's just like, I'm getting raped a lot, you know? <laughs> like, be super hot. Like, I feel like, were women as hot back then or are they getting hotter? Because I feel like women getting are getting hotter. hotter They're getting not hotter. by getting their face done or whatever. They're but like, hotter, but dudes were horny. There must have been like a really hot girl in like the mountains of... <laughs> Wait, I missed that one. What'd you say? Oh, we were pointing. I was saying they girls have definitely gotten hotter, but went, dudes were hornier back then, so oh, it's yeah. kind of relative. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, that's because rape was not illegal until not that long ago, right? I think rape. Was I pretty think illegal. I think it was really? frowned upon. It was probably. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the biblical times they were kind of like yeah, they'll bro. kill you. Yeah, but it was like you could go to enemy territory and kind of like right, right. That's when thing. it's yeah, yeah. The Vikes. That's when it's like, like expected. Yeah, the Vikes couldn't like microdose at home and go like just like right. rape everybody in their village. Ever, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> what does it mean to pillage? Dude, I'm so high. <laughs> what does it mean to pillage? Is that like rummage through the shit taking after you rape yeah. them? Yeah, taking their stuff, taking, yeah. taking their, their loot and booty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd like I had to a history. Pillage. I had a history yeah, professor. Pillaging that said, would be sick. That said booty all the time. Did he really? Yeah, we would talk anytime we were talking about war. He'd be like, and then of course they gathered all the booty. <laughs> What is what, like, like pirate booty? Is that what that is? Like yeah, what is that? What is booty? Just shit. Right it's just oh. stuff. Oh yeah. You ever thought about guarding your booty? Do you have any booty here? I don't have that much booty. <laughs> oh, I have my precious sword. I saw that, dude. Take that out. You're gonna I, want. I didn't. I didn't want to get a gander at that. I didn't. Have you seen this it? thing yet? No. It's my West. You Point. know, swords an acronym, right? <laughs> this is how I always open swords. I don't know about you guys. Like, yo, a little bit, and they go. <laughs> Take a look at that, dude. Damn, it's man. very dull, dude. It's a show blade. Yo, that's nice, man. It's a parade blade. <laughs> yes. Oh God. Look at the handle, dude. It's pretty sick. I was in here admiring it, but I, you know, it's a, that's my manners. I was like, I'm not gonna touch this. That's duty on a country, bro. That's fucking nasty. Is that like a replica remake or is that a real relic? Uh, I don't know. There's some some gentleman from the West Point gave me that. They honored my service. Damn, that's awesome, dude. I honor your service too. Thank you for your service. No problem, man. That. It was uh it was really hard. Probably was difficult. Is yeah. that East Point? Mm, probably. Yeah, where the East, fuck point. Is East Point. Smoke some dang. <laughs> <laughs> um That thing was sick. I was in here admiring it and I went, I was about to I was like, should have, hold dude. on. I appreciate I appreciate the you. House your is prudence. Sword. <laughs> My prudence. The house is sword. I went, man. Uh, dude, my I'm, like, I'm just morphing into James at this point. <laughs> I got, a, I got a little bit of money. It's time to buy swords and, ex and fusion frenzy. You got to start You got to start hitting the Instagrams. You're just in a dark room like, ah. Dude, uh, his Instagrams are for real the best. Uh, have you ever had a friend come over and he, he won't stop farting on your couch, but uh, it is funny. So I'm wondering in the comments if you think uh, what, what I should do here. Oh, my God. Yeah, he is the motherfucking he rocks. Main, James dude. rocks. Oh man, what a beast! Oh, I like the fence. Just by based on your impression, are you talking about the dude from Love on the Spectrum? Yes, yes. dude, good impression. Thanks, man. I and I just recently found the girl who's the. Uh, I found her Instagram. Followed her yesterday. She's I can't remember her name. She's like the cute one that went to Africa on the safari. Danny. Oh, she is, she is awesome, so dude. lovely. And, and her mom posts her. Yeah. And it's kind of like it's not really like exploitative. Is that the word? No. Yeah. Is You're that right. the right pronunciation? Mm -hmm. Um. But it's amazing because it's like her mom's like, oh, look how cute what she says. It's, great. it's fucking incredible. Yeah. I told you when I came over here last time I stayed with you, I don't think a show has ever moved. No movie could move me as much as any episode, episode. of Love on the Spectrum. Like, I'll cry. Yeah, I'll cry I'll every cry. time. Dude. You told me you okay, I'll cry talk every about, time. You cry. Like you yeah. can't if you, it is the most touching, moving, beautiful it thing. Is. Like when they hold a hand. I'm like, can I hold your hand? Like, dude. Yeah. And the, dude, when the parents so see it too, it's like when the parents, the like, parents we're just happy found someone. Danny's like, mom gets me every fucking time. Yeah. Which one? Which one? The one you were talking about. Oh, uh, the the lady that's posting that. Stuff. Oh yeah. What's her name? I forget her name. Yeah. The girl's name is Danny. Yeah, yeah. And yes, the mom. The first episode they were in, like. They went out. They like went outside and were like, "Would you like to go on a date?" Or like, "Can we be boyfriend and girlfriend?" They came back inside and told her. And then the mom was like, "Oh, that's great." And then it cut to just the mom mm -hmm. talking to the camera, crying. Yeah, that's right. I it saw was that. like, "Oh." Or fuck. when they're in Africa overlooking the safari and they're yeah. like behind them, like choked up. It's just like, "Oh, dude, it's why like, do you think they fuck with medieval times so hard?" Because I fuck with medieval times myself, right. but I'm wondering, like, because they, they were that's where the inbred started that no. long ago. It's like deep DNA. <laughs> 
because they know what's good, dude. <laughs> they do. They, they do. know exactly what's good. It, medieval times is Transformers, medieval shit. Yeah, for sure. Lions, all cartoons, wrestling, uh, wrestling. The new Mario they know Brothers what's movie. Good. The new Mario Brothers movie. It's gonna be off the charts. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Yeah, they fuck with medieval times so hard. And it's like, I always wondered if it was just more of like a... James got outshined on the last one. For how? There's a new swordsman. What? There's another guy with a... Connor has a nasty sword collection. What? Yeah. <laughs> I forgot how good... Uh, I went back and watched the Australian one with fucking... Michael? Michael's obviously... Michael's Michael's goaded, dude. He's yeah, on the Mount Rushmore. He He's on the Rushmore. He's on the Rushmore. <laughs> but, He's uh, what's his name? Uh, Kelvin... The Asian kid? Yeah, he was so nice. It's like, do you want hugs and kisses? Yes, please. <laughs> yes, I want hugs and kisses. He's the one who went on a date and they busted out like Nintendo DSs yes. and fucking ripped. Yes. Yeah, that was He's it. like, no, I don't, I'm waiting patiently. I don't, I'm not playing that <laughs> shit. <laughs> He's the one who, he, he has the camera in his room and he starts showing all his, he draws anime girls and yeah. shit. And it got the one that was like, it was just zoomed in on the tits that he drew. That was his bait. And the camera's next to him and he's like, <laughs> he's like, chill. They're like, do you want us to leave now? He's like, yes. Well, there, <laughs> that's becoming more like, like common now. There's more, autism is spiking. Yeah. I wonder if it's just not Mother Nature being like, let's do a little reset on humanity. Because they are angels, dude. They Although are they can go evil. They can go rogue. They can go very they can, rogue. It's time to break the sword collection out at the bowling alley. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to fucking... They yeah. to live in a sick, sick world, though. Has there ever been, like, a serial killer who's uh, mentally... Chat was the right I way to say I think probably it? all. For sure, yeah. There had to be one. I think, but back um, in the day, just murdering and, and... I don't know about serial. Definitely a killer. Maybe not... Yeah, I, don't I know think they they've... would solve the crime pretty quickly. <laughs> They'd be like, I know who did it. It's the... <laughs> Just a guy it's panting the guy. in a field. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it might be not serial, but I mean, an autist for sure could get go on a nice run. I think most of them are probably autistic. Yeah, I would, yeah. Most of them have personality disorders. This is yeah. Cunanan might be the goat, dude. Cunanan is gay serial killer. Yeah, yeah that was pretty. Pretty, that was pretty awesome. Did you see that mo that show? I, I, I remember when it happened, like I in real time. That was like in the nineties in Miami. I remember when that shit was oh, going down, shit. and they like chased him down. He was in the boat and everything, and he popped Versace on the steps of the house, right? And yeah, Andrew Cunanan, and, and uh, the rapper refers to him. Andrew, shine, shine. Yeah. yeah, he talks about Cunanan? Andrew Cunanan. And he, he flipped. Yeah. A, he flipped some bar about Andrew Cunanan. Damn. Yeah, that's awesome. that was a hot bar. Is it bad boys? I can't remember. Shine. I forget. We, we listened to it in your car. But remember, you skipped it. I'm like, go Andrew back to Shine. And I was ass. like, don't skip Shine. We yeah, had to go true. back. Shine rules. Shine became a Jewish. Uh, you know this in real life. He went to Israel and like after the puffy thing with the gun. Free use of stepdaughter in front of mother. Ooh. Wait, what? <laughs> Mom's doing, they're, but mom and daughter are doing the dishes. The son just gets free reign. He can fuck the daughter whenever he wants. <laughs> He gets and to they, fuck her, and she acts like he's not even fucking her. Yeah, she's she like doing the dishes business. and stuff. Yeah. And was, what's the mom doing? Is the mom they even... They pretend nothing's happening. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. They talk to each other while he's fucking her. Is she... Is Sean, that like, don't make that fucking face, dude. You're going to love it. You're going to come, and as soon as you come, you're going to go, Shane was right. I was oh, thinking yeah. you were right. I was just thinking about it. No, I just want you to think about me when you Does her that. voice quiver as she's talking to her mom? Oh, yeah. <sighs> That's yeah. good acting. Yeah, that'll get you, man. <laughs> that'll get you. There's a lots of types of free use on Reddit. There's a whole subreddit called free use, and it's just people like playing video games and just like laying down reading books. Yeah, I never got into the video game one free for some use. reason. Yeah, but a, the lady playing the video game and laying flat on her tummy, and a guy crawls in and fucks her. Yeah, that's fun, especially if somebody else is playing her in the video game. That's what we do when we play Madden. <laughs> <laughs> I lay the mare right on this floor. <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah, I got I got in. That's that is a that's a particular demon of mine. If it's like I got in the thing of women wearing vibrating panties and having to try to read and it's just like they try to start pronouncing yeah. words and it's just like geez. It hit me a long time ago when I was a very very young man. I found a video of a Chinese or a yeah. Japanese lady trying to read the news. Yeah. And guys kept walking on the desk and jizzing on her face. Oh, so that's like yeah. an or ancient one for you. Fucking her. Yeah, this was an old one. That's one of your sexual I was really stones. I was really ashamed of it. <laughs> yeah. For real, I mean, it was like Japanese bukkake porn, and I was True. pretty young. True, yeah. But they would fuck her while she was trying to read the news. That was great. That's awesome. But now it's come around to where it's not like that weird. Oh, now it's nothing. Yeah, that's fucking. 
Now it's perfectly acceptable. Guys would kill to have that. I don't know. It's, you still feel weird. I I, saw, I stumbled on that relatively recently. The news one? The news one. The video yeah, still bringing that up. Came, yeah, yeah. I went back to the <laughs> Did news. Did it look old? Uh, no. It's like new. new. They're making yeah, new ones? Yeah, they're making new ones. And I, Where are I we felt... at time-wise on this one? <laughs> <laughs> I felt yeah, all bad. They're all. making new ones. <laughs> we could do like an Adam-22 thing where like we all we just bring all all yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we, we bring all the guests and we fuck them. <laughs> me and Matt We all, we all just talk about a yeah. board, beat off to it, and come back and talk about Matt it. Matt-22, <laughs> me and Matt. Have a th- we have a threesome with whoever our guest is. <laughs> so. You can have Club Shane Shane. I'll have Matt-22. Club Shane Shane, Matt-22. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> Start having three ways with <laughs> fucking O'Connor. Be a hit. It would be a hit, dude. The I would like to see. Yeah, well, I would split you open, dude. What? <laughs> <laughs> the hell are you, you got a nice rump, dude. I'd be in there. True. Yeah, you feel like, bad. You feel bad enjoying it. In there. You'd feel bad it's enjoying it. Free use hotel, dude. That'd be full truffle pig in that ass. Just <laughs> <laughs> you go. You'd be up there going. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> of course. What? <laughs> in what world? Of course, I come on do the podcast. I get and fucked. I get my ass eaten. <laughs> of course. It's exactly what I didn't want to happen. <laughs> Shane, would you stop sucking my, my nipples? <laughs> I would make you confess that the Dems are the, the devil. I would say you better say it, say it. Yeah. Say it. And you go, yes, daddy, the Dems are the devil. <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be edging me. I, I, I would get, edge I'd you. Get I'd close. say, I'm not going to suck your dick until and you I go, don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> admit the Dems are bad. Admit the Dems are bad. I would make you admit the Dems are bad. Yeah. Otherwise, I would not let you re- reach crime. <laughs> Say Jan 6 wasn't that scary. Jan 6 was not that scary, dude. I've abandoned my child. I've How, abandoned my boy. You did. I remember because yeah. me and Chris were together during Jan 6. We watched it. And Chris did. I did notice you were getting a little emotional during Jan 6. During Jan 6? I saw you. It was one of those like where you're watching a movie, someone you can tell they're crying and they're trying. Not to. <laughs> me and Chris were on the couch during Jan 6 and I saw him. I like, think I might. I, think I my, saw him like fake like. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Our nation's capital. True. Being invaded. No, I feel like I I, I think I genuinely went, oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. that was like my genuine I think that reaction. was kind of everyone's reaction. Oh it was like, God. what the fuck? I thought everyone was going, look at these weirdos. And that was yeah. that was about it. Yeah. It was. <laughs> it was kind of funny, dude. It was so funny. Of course. They were falling off the walls it's and crazy. shit. <laughs> it was so funny. The dude had the Viking hat. That, that whole, like. <gasps> That time period of those guys, like those, like right wing dudes with like mm-hmm. Captain America shields. Yeah, I'll be honest, it got me. When they Captain, were Ameri- Captain America shield, like sucker punching some fucking Antifa guy. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Well, dude, the day was <laughs> so <laughs> the day was so fucking insane because it was like one piece of news would be like they're terrified in there they could die yeah. and then the other like a picture would leak out of the like a dude taking a shit on a desk or something <laughs> and you're just like what the hell is yeah what are they doing <laughs> are people's lives at stake or are they just having a good well time? the worst is when they released that footage and I, don't, I don't know how much of that whole ordeal this was but it was just like guys just like walking slowly like a museum almost just like yeah. walking through and like yeah. picking stuff up and then once they, like, they on, show brothers. the they show the yeah. q and on shaman in the yeah in the thing, and he says a prayer from the yeah. balcony or whatever. Yeah. And the cop's like, dude, can you please leave? He's like, hold on, I want to say one prayer. He's <laughs> like, all right, go ahead, but you got to fucking get out of here. Can you please get out of here? He's like, all right, I will. I'm just going <laughs> to say a minute. prayer. And then he stole the podium and walked out. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking, he must have been having so much fun that day. Yeah, oh I mean, dude, God. it's got it was worth the fucking eight years in solitary confinement or was <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Guantanamo. Is that what he got? I don't know what he got. I think he's out. He's out. The boy's out. I think he got out because the tape was too damning. It was, it was like, dude, that's not at all what they said. Yeah, happened. you can't be in solitary. But I think that. other guys are in there forever. Other guys. Are, Biden was just bragging about it in yeah. that speech. He was like, over nine hundred years of <laughs> jails. <laughs> <laughs> We did it. <laughs> and they all clapped. They loved it. They loved that part. Lock them up. Damn. Yeah, they love that shit. I wonder how those guys are treated in prison. Probably pretty good. Right? I don't know. They're probably like a lot They're of them. They're probably a cool core of 
I'm Jan sure they six, found guys? a certain group that took them in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there was a g- I would some think the big guards fans. would be on their side. I'm sure the whole gang's on their side. Yeah. <laughs> I could I could see like criminal, even like black dudes being like, yo, fuck the Capitol. Hell yeah. 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 It'd be it interesting fun. if they were very patriotic though. You fucking disrespected the flag. That would, yeah, true. Yeah. They got very that would kinda pump me up if that was the case. That'd be tight. Very patriotic in prison. Rap got patriotic after 9 11. We've talked about that. Oh, yeah. The That's Diplomats all Dipset talked yeah. about. Yeah. Diplomats came out with that song. Jay Z was like, it was tight. Patriotic yeah. rap was fucking sick. They got excited on the word Taliban, too. They were like, they used it a lot. Then they co opted everybody. It, yeah. And then, yeah. They were like, yeah, actually, this is cool. Like Drizzy, Drizzy, Drizzy got a hold of it. It was like, Taliban. <laughs> <laughs> we're the Taliban. I don't remember this. I don't, I don't, I wasn't listening to rap. You listen to Seeger. Yeah. Oh, always patriotic. Nice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. 2024 is going to be fucking sick. It's going to be nuts. Dude. 2024 is going to be fucking nasty. Did you see, there was a thing going around the internet, be like, it's been 2024 for one week and already we've had, and it was like <laughs> yeah, yeah. the dude jumping over the fucking jumping on the judge, and uh, I think dude jumping on the judge, dude. That looked dude, like that looked like Levar Arrington. God, dude. That dude. was like that for real. Looked like that Irish Impact painting I have in the, that <laughs> picture. That was a goal line stand. Dude. That was crazy. That was like, imp- genuinely impressive. Did he do it with cuffs on? He the best part is if you, when you watch the video, he goes for like a. Have you watched the full video? I saw a little bit of the extended. Dude, it's him just being ass. like, "Come on, Your Honor, like oh, my life's on the right track. I feel like I'm like all these crimes. I feel like I, I'm not doing drugs anymore." He does. He does the first. Att- There were literally people on the moon before Alabama had black guys in their secondary.
<laughs> it's like a remake. That's all they make. They either make that one. Remember me? I mean, it's enriching the evil empire. Fact check something else, dude. Who? Genghis Khan had yeah. plus kids. Well, yeah, true. He didn't do it the right way, though. Yeah. That's that assault, wasn't, brother. Yeah, that, wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't what a man loves a woman. I think like a quarter of all Chinese people are have like Genghis Khan yeah. genes or something. It's along those lines. Whatever yeah. that stat is. Something I think like it's that. everybody in the whole world has it. A little bit of GK? Yeah. Dang, dude. Save some for the rest of us, Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. <laughs> Stop cutting everyone's head off and fucking everybody. How did they not kill him immediately? I don't Somebody's know. going around cutting everyone's head off and fucking everybody. I don't think they, they couldn't kill him. He was too. He like just united a bunch Even of psychos. Even your closest boys have to. I mean, look what happened to Caesar, dude. You'd think. True. If you become the man, someone around you is like. <laughs> yeah, true. But they were they were like. They yeah, were they were probably up. fucking a thousand women. They were, they were from like the year 700 poverty. Yeah. So it was like they were skin. They were like tying my skin together for clothes. And the guy's like, yo, what if we didn't kill each other and invaded China and it worked? And they're like, yo, you're the best. Yeah. I think they got alcohol finally. Taliban's banning the opium. Did they really? Hey, good job, Taliban. Yep, they're banning it, but everyone's pissed. They're Who's saying, pissed? They're saying Afghanistan needs the opium to make money. It's their chief export. So they say it's going to cause a lot of refugees and a lot of uh, economic who, consequences. Who's us? Yeah. We're the ones like yeah. nah, the United States of that. Peace really wants the opium yeah. to uh, to stay. Yeah. Oh, so they're being like, look at these assholes, dude. Yeah, what a jerk. Yeah, what? that's I. I was in that dopamine book. They talk about like the, the addictive good. quality of stuff based on like how much dopamine it releases. So mm. chocolate releases. So you have a resting state. Chocolate increases your dopamine in mice, fifty percent. I think cigarettes are like a hundred percent, hundred fifty percent. Cigarettes, hundred fifty percent. Sex is a hundred percent, and then meth is a thousand percent. I get it. Yeah, Adderall gets you like. Yeah, I love my job. <laughs> yeah. I could talk to everybody here all day. Yeah, I love working at this car. Garage. I was trying to find what. How much do you think it spikes your dopamine to look at like certain things on your phone? It's got to be, be a ton. I can't stop. It's got to be more than nicotine. I would, yeah. I'd imagine it's as much as now that we're both addicted to nicotine. I'm addicted to the idea of nicotine, dude. Yeah, you need it. I take my little patches. I do it for one milligram and spit it out. What do you mean you my do belly. it for one milligram? I just hold it for a little bit and just go. My belly starts you feeling weird. You only do one milligram. Yeah, I start getting like hiccup and shit. I don't like it. I man. like that you're confident in that. I think it's about I one. I only do one. About one milli. <laughs> Probably. It's, just so, it's just so I don't get addicted. One yeah. milli, I don't get addicted. You won't. Although just get addicted, dude. Just a fuck, dude. True. I was all I was all in. I was watching the Hubermans. He's like, it's neuroprotective. Yeah, it's good for you. It's good for you. It's like and getting I, addicted to going to the gym, dude. Then I, then I watched another a video. A, a guy was like, no, dude, your body goes into craving states all night. It wakes you up to get more. And I was like, yeah, that's actually a good point there. Hmm. The guy was saying you're just relieving. It goes. It it. It's kind of nice though. It's like it leaves. It's a stimulant that leaves your body quickly. 
so you can take it real quick like caffeine keeps me up for like forever but the nick i can take it I'm, but they say when you get addicted to it the problem you're not is supposed it, to do nick at night true yeah you can't do you do nick at night i used to hate nick at night Dude, that's nothing. That's a soul crusher when it comes on. Oh. You're a little kid watching TV, and you're like, you're like, all that's over. Maybe I should go to bed. Nick at night, all of a sudden, I Love Lucy's on. You're like, what the fuck is this shit? Yeah, I used to like the Jeffersons. I actually, I would watch the Jeffersons. I thought that man was silly. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I I remember like a gloomy feeling coming over me when Nick, Nick at, at night, night would come tough. on. What else was on there? I Love Lucy. I Love Lucy, I remember. Brady Bunch. Bewitched. I didn't, I could catch a bewitched. Da, 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 that could that could da, da, jar da, da, a I dream of genie. Oh, I dream of genie. Oh my god. What was that song? I dream of Is that I dream of genie? Yeah. Yeah. I love. I think I'm thinking of I dream of genie instead of bewitched. I yeah. Bewitched also a hot witch. Yeah. Yeah, hot babe. Yeah. Although, don't sleep on fucking uh that hot Latin lover coming home and pounding Lucy, dude. True. Ricardo. Ricky Ricardo. Ricky Ricardo. Lucy. Yeah. Man, those that was an old show. Lucy wasn't Latina, was she? No. No. That was very progressive back then. I think they were pretty progressive back then. Yeah. Not as progressive as we are now. I mean, nowhere, no, no. I can't see a commercial without the fucking WNBA in it. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> it's funny. There's a YouTube TV commercial now that you can, you can watch four WNBA games at once if you wanted. What? And it's funny. I make sure to pause it every time it's on so I can look at the scores of the game. One team scored 10 points at the end of the first quarter. <laughs> <laughs> nice going, ladies. <laughs> I guess. I mean, if you if you think about it, you probably to, you know, in terms of action, if you're watching four WNBA games at the same time. Yeah. It's almost Could as much add as up one to an NBA score. College game. <laughs> yeah. In terms of the action. Sure. See, if you see four layups simultaneously, it's like a 360 dunk. Like, whoa. Whoa. Yeah. They all a, a nice female layups about a 10% dopamine spike. <laughs> <laughs> you add a couple of them at once. I'm like, addicted to them, all right. dude. That equals one step back Steph Curry three from half court. <laughs> Five possessions in a row. <laughs> I mean, the market is going to, they're going to push that and push that. They're pushing the it so hard. The market. ESPN gonna... has a thing that's uh, the W. Have you guys seen that W? It's like a change is coming. That's how it ends every time. It's like, I can feel a change coming. And it's just women balling, dude. What? It's just women balling out. I love it. I mean, dude, they're not dunking. Dude. They're starting to dunk, dude. A you of, love not, females in video games. You love women's basketball. No offense yeah, to Phil dude, Gillis. I love women's. <laughs> women's, 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 women's. <laughs> women, women, women. Uh, they should open it up, dude. They Are should. you sure about that? <laughs> dude, they could get the ratings and the money if they just started, they joined the NBA. Like, oh. just let, just, that's the thing. My thing is, like, one stop game these bullshit All-star game every year should be the WNBA All-Stars, NBA All-Stars. That's what I'm saying. And stop. Winner gets t- a billion dollars. So the, <laughs> the men, the the men have to win by a hundred. It should be like ultimate surrender. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking about a ratings bonanza. <laughs> <laughs> My thing, I, I don't understand why there's a WNBA. I, I think they're just as good. I, I think it it's should just be NBA. It yeah. should just be the NBA. Join it. Because I feel like they're killing them on opportunity. Who's the, who's the soccer player? The purple-haired lady. She had Rapino, Rapino, uh, Megan Rapino. She she gave Sue Bird's retirement speech. Twitter's been making fun of it. It's been very fun. Who's, who's she was like arguably the greatest athlete in any sport ever, Sue Bird. And then they've been bringing up Sue Bird's stat line, and everyone's like. <laughs> it's like 11 points a game. <laughs> Are you serious? What? She's dating Sue Bird. Oh, they're dating? Yeah, they're oh, together. Oh, well, that's actually it's very sweet. In- Never mind. It's a conflict of interest. That's actually nice of her to say she was the greatest. Wait. Although, Rapino is better at her sport. Soccer. So, soccer is dating a basketball player. The goats of both sports. Whoa. Are, who's, which one's like? I would say Rapino is probably the stud. Yeah, I imagine. If I had to guess. <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, true. I mean, who knows? I don't want to speculate. Who cares? Yeah, who, who cares? cares? 
I was just curious. So the, I would figure the soccer player would be the more feminine one. W the women's national team got that was one that was an unreasonable thing that fired me up. What if I looked into any of it? Like we should be paid the same. Oh, I'd, dude. I'd, be, I'd be, I'd be. It gets me every time. Yeah. No, you shouldn't. It's also like if you should, you know, exactly. We're in a, it's a free market. It's like yeah, for sure. Like yeah, if it, that's the case. Yeah. No one's conspiring to keep that down. No one's like chill, sir. Did you see the fucking game? Did it's you too see good. How good they are. We have to. <laughs> Everyone's gonna stop watching men's soccer. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, there's nothing working against it. It's, it's just, just, I guess, the thing that bothers me about it is the argument for it is so dumb. What is it? Not what that is, there are not saying the the one argument I hear. Yeah, not yeah, their yeah, argument, sure, but that sure. just that they win more than the men's team. Yeah, they should be getting paid more. It's like that. Doesn't to say too, too much, much. Uh, to say yeah, to, yeah. yeah. It's, that song's awesome That's a good one yeah guys it's time to talk athletic greens Joe it's time nice. sometimes it's about the art uh, <laughs> I gave athletic AG1 a try because I wanted to supplement that would actually that actually tasted great would be an easy addition to my already rigorous uh, health lifestyle <laughs> if you hate taking pills this once a day drink is perfect how does AGI one make me feel? I think it it does make me feel good. I drink it. Oh, yeah. I go, I'm done for the day. It makes day. me feel like I'm taking pills. Actually, yeah, it makes I me feel fucked up. <laughs> I take it and I go, mission accomplished. That's I'm healthy. Oh yeah. Here's to getting shredded. AG one, seventy five vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients are helping me look like a Greek god. <laughs> Did they Zeus. write this literally making fun of me? <laughs> they might have. Been. I think they wrote this to make fun of me. <laughs> Okay. What? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Not Great guy, yeah. Dionysus. <laughs> uh, if you're looking for an easier way to take Aphrodite. supplements, Athletic Greens, yeah, I'm very buxom. <laughs> athletic Greens is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five travel packs mm. with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com slash trench. That's athleticgreens.com slash trench. Check it out, Joe DeRosa. <laughs> Today's episode is brought to you by Hamilton Devices. Yes. Their vapes are next level. We've been loving the Starship with three heating elements inside. It will take your high out of this world. Another favorite of mine is the Gamer, a hands-free way to vape on the go. Guys, I don't even need to talk these vapes up. The vapes fucking vape for themselves, guys. With huge clouds, full favor, and thick oils, get ready for an incredible high. Hamilton Devices is, looking, is hooking our listeners up. Go to HamiltonDevices.com and use code DRENCHED15 for 15% off. Buyers must be 21 or older. That's HamiltonDevices.com, code DRENCHED15 for 15% off. Thank you, Matt. Now let's get back to the show. Let's back to the Joe, show. how do you feel about comedy? <laughs> <laughs> we'll both do Rex MD at the same time. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Are you ready? Yep. Picture you, it. You met a honey. Brought her home. Brought her home. And now things just aren't happening. Yeah. This is where Rex MD comes in. They make they make getting generic and branded Viagra or Cialis quick and easy and, and completely, completely online. online. <laughs> Talk uh, about a time Rex MD Rex MD would have helped. It would have helped. Yeah, talk about a time. When, when was the time? Can you share a very embarrassing sexual oh, memory of yours? I'd say fifty percent of the time, <laughs> I could have used Rex MD. You drink too much and your penis doesn't work. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Did you Google it? Yeah, obesity has a little to do with it too. <laughs> uh, no insurance, no copays, and it's delivered <laughs> discreetly to your door. Not just ED medication, Rex MD's other medications help sexual health, hair growth, pain relief, and sleep aid. God damn. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Act now to take advantage of their best deal yet by heading to rexmd.com slash drenched. Our exclusive deal will save you up to 90% off, so you only play, you're only going to pay $2 per dosage. Two. What else, Matt? Starter packs of generic Viagra or Cialis are now available for our listeners to get started. That's rexmd.com slash drench for up to 90% off. Give the gift of pleasure this year with Rex MD. Thank you. Fantastic, dude. Shut up. Please come to my show at the stand March 1, Wednesday, this coming week. Thank you. Goodbye. This is Sean Gardini. 
still rules. You can get pussy yeah. at a Dave Matthews Band concert show. Dude, mm-hmm. hairy, unkept pussy. Yeah, now it is. You, now it, it was is. the best of the Back best. Back in the day, it was the finest The finest. Sluts. It was like the weed smoking sluts. Pussy, the pussy the bad girls. It was when, it was yeah. when hippies <laughs> were hot. It was like when there was a version yeah. of hippie that was hot. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I still have it in me. I hate, I hate hippies. I'm watching that fucking, it's in there. Yeah. Well, I don't know where it came from. It's instilled. I'm watching the Vietnam Ken Burns thing. You can't stand Anytime them. they show the hippies, I'm like, these fucking dickheads. <laughs> By the way, they're completely right. They're like, this war is wrong. <laughs> they're totally right. Yeah. I'm sitting there like, shut up. There's because, guys over there dying. But they stunk. They had their own problems, though. Then they went yeah, and did these communes shit. and like molested each other. And- yeah. But it's yeah. the same reason why you mo- you hate most we you hate most hipsters. It's like it's the same thing. It's yeah. like the right concept and it's executed in entirely the wrong way and it's annoying and bratty and it's kids whose parents are paying for them yeah. to have the privilege to go sit. It's the it's the epitome of white privilege. Mm. And yet it's the mouth the main mouthpiece against white privilege. Yeah. yeah. And it's just so insane and and hypocritical. It's hard to it's hard to stomach, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's too much. Too much. <laughs> Dave too much. Rules, dude. We love you, Dave. <laughs> all right, I changed my mind. I'm sorry I said it all sucked after the second Come hour, on, dude. dude. I He's like, got some hits. I He's still... got more hits than Prince, dude. <laughs> got significantly BNB more hits. I also still like... Check the, uh, check the billboards. I, mean, I, I don't know enough of Prince's music. I really don't. I, I got to listen to it. But the, again, it only takes one song. I thought Elvis sucked dick. Then I watched yeah. Unchained. Fat Elvis Unchained. Hound Melody. Dog's nice. Hound Dog's rules. fucking nice. You guys the first know. Elvis album is awesome. The very yeah, first I one, I don't know. Self-titled? That don't album know. is awesome. What about Lil Red Corvette, Raspberry Beret? Exactly. Come on, dude. This What's guy all that, got Prince? Here? Yeah. yeah. Dude. Prince dude, is nice. Raspberry... Rasb- sing Raspberry Beret. Raspberry Beret. Banana. Yeah. She's that, something, the something, kind you find at a second hand store. What's that show? Sounds like shit. Right. This song is awesome. <laughs> it's truly, that sounds like check top one hundred. We'll check top one hundred. DMV versus Prince. We'll settle it all. Top one hundred is gonna be tough for DMV, I think. Really? Fucking Ants Marjorie. Oh, dude, Dave Matthews is a crash. Prince, what are you nuts? We'll see. I guess. After the third Who's, album, uh, no, I like the one Prince song from Batman. What song was that? The oh, j- Bat Dance. <laughs> that shit ruled whatever that was <laughs> when the when the joker when jack nicholson bat comes dance. in that's bat dance awesome that fucking rules i'll give him that yeah I mean, I there's ain't some guys that have some dance. hits in movies fucking vanilla ice and ninja turtles dude go ninja what go. a fucking jam dude <laughs> i remember being a kid just yeah dude how bad did you want to do the fucking michelangelo spin dance on like your that. shell <sighs> I remember I was so you know mad. How many brush friends I got trying that in the basement? <laughs> I was so mad at Ninja Turtles 2 yeah. for two reasons. I loved the was first. Is that the one that came out recently? No, no, no. Like the one that had oh. the ninja rap or whatever. Wait, how old were you when this came out? 12. And you were still a little, you were a critical, you were a critic back then? <laughs> You're a punk, no, dude. No, because I lo- <laughs> but I loved the first one. For sure. And I loved Turtle Power, the rap song. Yeah. And then the second inspiring. one came out, and the second one looked so shitty. Even in the trailers as a kid, I was like, this looks terrible. <laughs> and then the rap song was Vanilla go Ice. Ninja, go. It was go like ninja, Downslide ninja, Vanilla go. Ice. Go Ninja, Go Ninja. Oh, I was that so was mad. his comeback. That was a fucking great song. That was his fucking comeback. You can't comeback. take that away. He went out on a fucking Grand Slam home run. Everyone's yeah. like, all right, all right, Ice, you did it, dude. Yeah, you did it. No, he was, was a rap game will dude. never I'm be older the same. Than you guys. He was go out. Ninja, go Ninja, no, Go Ninja, Go. No, he was on the outs at that point. Dude, okay, you just said, imagine okay. you just had five slices of pizza and like a two liter of Pepsi. He yeah. was at, uh, you know where he was at that point? He was at MC <laughs> Hammer, too legit to quit. Like, awesome where it was song. Like, it's about to go. It's not, it's not happening. See, I missed anymore. MC, I missed Hammer. What's, a, what's the math? All right, DMB has seven number one albums and Prince has eight. Whoa, it's right. it's pretty much, Way closer, DMB's right? White Prince. <laughs> DMB is White Prince. <laughs> he settled it, dude. He's a sex symbol. Now, D- uh, fucking John Mayer's White Prince. Yeah, everyone's like yeah. he's actually really good at guitar. He is. Too. You don't understand. I'm more of a music guy. He shreds. You love he his comedy, shred. right? I've never seen it. You love his stand up. I like that he's involved in the community. You do. You like. The- I love when guys like that get involved in the community. That's, that's, is John Mayer involved in the community? In the industry. He does. I don't oh, know if the he comic still does it, does it? No, oh, he okay. does because he was doing stuff with Chappelle, wasn't he? Well, that was a while. Ago. I think a long time. ago. I remember his comedy being like weirdly good for a guy. <laughs> yeah, like, that, that shouldn't. Well, the, yeah, that yeah. shreds. Yeah, yeah big he dick does. Guitars. He really is an amazing guitarist. That's what everyone says. He plays in the Grateful Dead. He was like, he like. He, I know. I've heard he's great. Like wild. I've heard Prince is he's the good. best. I wanted to hate him. I heard he was like a big dick. The honk, Dead's and a I was band. Like, Fuck I this can't. guy. Ugh. What? The Dead? Grateful Dead? I've tried so many times the Grateful Dead. I just can't get into it. That's fair. Yeah. Fish. Kind of square. Oh. 
Yeah. I hate. What'd you say? Fish. Fish. Well, you're kind of a square. True. You now, are a bit of a square. Fish does stink. Fish stinks. Grateful Dead. They have their song. They have their hits, dude. You got to give them their hits and get away from all the crap. I don't even know what the hits. I know trucking. Trucking, obviously. And I know. Oh, I, I like that song. Uh, Casey Jones, isn't that the Trying Grateful to get Dead? Sunflower, Casey Jones. Casey Jones. What was, was the good. one in the eighties that came out? Uh, Touch of Gray. Touch of Gray. Yeah, I like Classic Touch of Gray. Hit, yeah, that's never a good sign. When, what? What's that one song in the entire decade? That was that. To be fair, that was their decline, and they came out with a mega hit, and it was like everyone was nice. like, oh, exactly like Vanilla Ice. Exactly, like, too legit to quit was so nice. That song sucks. Too legit. Too legit. That album sucks. Too legit to hit, quit. Dude. What? Tiger's the man. Tiger is the man. He was saying he was a cheater, and then he was like, "I heard he fucked this this other golfer, Duffner's wife." That's when it's fucked up. And I was like, uh, "This seems like a Duffner problem." <laughs> Bringing your wife to a hotel with other golfers, and she ends up banging Tiger Woods. Is that a Gillis issue? Is a Duffner? That's a problem? Duffner problem for sure. And then I looked into Duffner's, also. You should have been better Duffner's wife. Duffner's wife also banged a couple other players. Yeah. So that's not a Tiger thing. He yeah. was just bringing a whore in. Yeah, you married a whore. You had a whore wife. And you weren't, good, you weren't good enough at golf to Duffner was keep nasty. her whore powers in check. Duffner, and then I looked up Duffner, and he was a little chubby guy. Really? Real sad thing. To have you, dude, imagine if... Cucked nationally? Cucked by Tiger Woods, and you got you played against him, and he just fucked you up every week in golf. And, 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 your and wife. he banged your wife. Are golf wives typically sluts? Yes. Okay. That's they true. must be, dude. They're yeah. only marrying white dorks. True. That are millionaires. True. They have to be sluts. Yeah, and they're never golfers. Typically, we got actually some heat for making fun of golfers. But <laughs> yeah, golfers get so <laughs> dude. They have that Phil gene. I think golfers have gay AIDS. And they're all like, "What? <laughs> Golf's think a hell of a it. sport." It's the perfect sport for you to get cheated on. You're gone reliably. Like nobody golfs and yeah. comes right back. You're gone eight yeah. hours a day. The, the fucking walls yeah. are down, dude. And Tiger's in if, the hotel. Tiger Woods is in the hotel. Exactly. Known billionaire. Yeah. True. The thing you're doing every weekend, Jacked. they just watch it on TV. It's Greatest cool. of all time at the thing your husband does. Yeah. Comes through the hotel, signs an autograph. It's a wrap. Oh. Just, to, just to get you back for being gone every Saturday. You should be home with the kids. You work Monday through Friday, then you leave all day Saturday. Unacceptable. I'm going to blow one of your coworkers. Just hit balls in the backyard, dude. <laughs> True. You don't got to go do it. Duffin. Just hit them. Shout out Duffin. That might be my new favorite. Yeah, little chubby guy, just getting caught. I think he sucks now. I think after since the cut, dude, I wouldn't be able to play. I would, yeah, you'd have to quit, or you have to, you have to kill your wife, or no, because he wouldn't get alimony. Yeah, because because I was say if, he, if they got divorced and he had to pay her, he they was, did get divorced. Did he? But yeah, I but believe. he's right. He doesn't have to like pay her alimony, does he? I think you can get cheated uh, on and still have to pay alimony. Probably if you're Duffner, if you got that much money, so he might just. Are be you guys looking at Duffner's hot wife? No, no look at Duffner. Duffner's the man. <laughs> Yo, check, pull up his bay. How many do you think Tiger Woods? I've heard Duffner's Bay is hot. Yeah. It's very hot. Yeah. And she's in there just fucking dudes in the hotel. <laughs> that rules. It's actually cool. Tiger, what you, Tiger continues to dominate. Is he still good? And then I think he endorses Trump. <laughs> He's so funny. Does he? I believe. Huh. I think Trump. A lot of great him. athletes have endorsed the dog. He's all about winning, dude. He's all about winning, and they're also retarded winners. <laughs> yeah. All these extremely great athletes are also retarded winners. So, like, Tom Brady, Conor McGregor, yeah. Masvidal, Tiger. This is a sick squad. Pretty good, man. A lot of, yeah. a lot of internet. Uh, <laughs> dude, there's definitely a little – the breeze is blowing, man, because there's a lot of the internet personalities. A couple of them that I follow are starting to, like, double down real hard on uh, – on like the right, basically. Jimmy Gaffigan came out hard on what did Trump Gaffigan dog. say? He unleashed fury on Trump, man. Did he? Yeah. What did he say? And people were like, "Fuck Gaffigan!" It's like, no, Gaffigan's the man. What do you say Let about the boy? Roll, dude. What do you say about the Trump man? He was just, you know, he just had a spaz. He's like, "Trump's a fucking con man." Fuck this. This guy yeah. sucks. Yeah. All right. Yeah, man. His I mean, seemed legit. I don't know why. Well, I guess because he never said it ever mm -hmm. until now. But tr Gaffigan's <clears throat> seemed. I don't know. Usually I'm very critical if I think somebody's being phony or like virtue signaling. So his seemed legit. I guess you'd have to see it. Yeah. Did, yeah. He, did he do the hot pocket voice at all? <laughs> I, know. I was thinking that too. Where it's like it's such a hard thing to be like, we need to come together as a country. And so I'm like, hey, I like that guy. <laughs> That's my president. Hey, mister. Why? Well, I just, yeah. I don't, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I was hearing someone today. I think my wife was talking to people about like. Vendors. You have to declare who you're voting for, Matt. Dude, that, you must. That was people at the. She was talking to, like vendors for the uh, wedding, and they're like, you know, 
Everything will be cool once we get. We just need to get uh, our president out. We need a president in there who can handle a p- pandemic. And oh, it's like, that's because they were talking to your wife. True. These are honkies. Well, she, were these honks? No, but not they're, honks. They're, she she fired a honk. A honk had a defund the police thing on her thing, and she called her and was like, "You're fired." Oh, sick. I don't want that kind of bullshit around. Damn. My life. No, she fired her. That's like, great. Like, well, I don't. Uh, I don't. She was like, "Too bad." Like, well, I'm a police. Take that I'm... shit off of your fucking thing if you want to deal with the public. <laughs> yeah, she's, yeah, she's a police. She's a fucking yeah. thin blue line, bro. She's part of the thin blue line. But yeah, man, the uh, but yeah, she was talking to someone, and they're like, "Well, once we once we have you know this in here, then we'll be able to handle the pandemic." But it's like, dude, you fucking are like making cakes. What are you? T- you don't have any idea what you're talking. People are just re- like literally hearing shit online and reciting it. I'm trying like, so hard to f- fucking not do anything, like not be a part of any of it. Yeah. Like just totally, like I, I can't, I can't do it. Yeah. I'm easily swayed by shit. Exactly. I look at shit. I'm like, all right, well, that's how I feel right <laughs> yeah, now. And then I recite it to somebody, and they're like, you're a fucking idiot. And I'm like, <laughs> fuck, I guess I'm this again. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I don't like the way that's going. But the CDC is saying that 94% of the COVID deaths were from, were all, they also had underlying issues. So 94%. Really? Yeah. So only 6% of people died exclusively from, from COVID. COVID. But one of the underlying issues, it's not like this is new information. This has been out the whole time, but I th- somehow it's I just. Didn't know, I didn't know that. 94% included in that are heart attacks. I did hear and about shit like that. Stuff. Yeah, if you so die like, from like just. If you being- die and have COVID, you're part of the. I'm trying to figure out how we have it so bad. And everybody's like, because we didn't handle it. Obviously, I think we fucked up handling it. But now, like, if you look at other explain, countries like Germany, France, England, they're all at like zero to fucking like five deaths yeah. a day now. Yeah. And we're still at like a thousand. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So Maybe, you know what I'd have to look into? Yeah. I'd like to see how many nursing homes they have. Uh, you know, maybe yeah. that's like a cultural thing in America where we send geezers to nursing homes where that's like totally acceptable. Except maybe in those other countries it's not. Yeah. Because the nursing homes have to make up half of our deaths. Yeah. Because nursing homes, nursing homes are just getting fucking crushed. Dude. Absolutely. Which is <laughs> kind of funny. I don't know why. I don't know why it's funny. I, mean, I don't know why. It's pretty fucked up. It's funny that everybody was like, all right, let's lock our old people well, up. Well, maybe the most uneventful. I mean, I've never worked in one, but they, every time I've been like around one, I think I've been in them a couple times, they seem very, 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 very uneventful. So to have like to the almost naked, like To a, the untrained eye, dude. They were all fucking each other. True. True that. But you go and they're there. getting like beat occasionally. Uh, yeah, dude, people gotta <laughs> lay down the line, dude. On a couple, you know, you gotta lay the line. And the down. orderlies would come in and fuck you up, dude. Imagine if someone bioweaponed them. I like think one the, of the Chinese bioweaponed our geezers. Do you think so? Because I was reading a thing about uh, the Jews in the concentration camps would take lice right. and they would go when they would do the Germans. <laughs> well, the, no, no. They, right. they would do the Germans uniforms and they would pop lice. Oh, and then they get some of that them, plague in there. Yeah, sew them up in there. But the. Um, <laughs> I guess you would call that crafty. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't, it's a word I would use for that. <laughs> well, yeah, they did. Uh, when people sit here and like they handled the pandemic wrong, it's like, okay, dude who barely works forty hours a week. What? What? Where do they drop the ball on this global pandemic? Yeah, I don't know. Well, they should have tested. Dude, now they're saying they're testing too much. Well, they should have tested. Okay, fine. They're rolling out tests and they're like, well, now people are they're testing too much. People are getting false confidence. It's like, dude, these are two people trying to just. Uh, sway the public consensus. I just don't understand it. That's all. I don't all. get it either. I just okay. don't get it. Yeah, if, if I was if I was su- like su- su- like severely immunocompromised, I would just stay the fuck home. I would stay inside. But I would chill. We gotta look up, and I should have done this before. <laughs> what? <clears throat> I have it. Uh, before I just got, you know talked about it, but it's like I don't know what did France and Germany do. And they're like, they locked down right away. I looked up when they locked down and when they closed sh- schools. Yeah. And it's almost exactly when we did. Maybe they were better at it than Sweden, we were. Sweden, I don't Sweden think. Sweden hardly down. did didn't it. didn't barely do it. And anything. now the narrative is they're getting crushed right now. I looked it up. They're not. Yeah. I don't know. It's and now up. the narrative is also the South is the, they never locked up and they're fucking it up for all of us, which is the, you know, that's what people in New York say. Yeah. People in New York acted, oh my God, dude. They literally act like they survived Stalingrad. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. They're like you weren't even in the city. We went through hell. It's like you stayed inside. Yeah. What do you think we everybody else was doing? Yeah, and also it's like what, what did you what did you do? What happened? Nothing. I cheered for nurses at 7 p.m. every day <laughs> until race riots, and it, then it felt weird. Yeah, and then it was we just all then turned we, off our brains. Then for we about became three weeks. Marxists. If I played on, we were at 4:36. We'll get out of here. Push it to the 10 limit. minutes. Dude. The. Uh, 
dude. So I'm reading on Plato, dude, and I. So he got his his government was like, we're killing you. He was inconvenient. The bro was inconvenient. They're mm-hmm. like, we don't like what you're doing. They gave him. They they were like, we're gonna charge you for corrupting the youth, and I think spreading atheism. Which, if you know anything about Socrates, bro, he's, or Socrates, he's that's not what he's about at all. Yeah, he's it's just not about that at all. Like it's bullshit. But yeah. <laughs> they, so then he it's was like, like Alex Jones. For, and he goes, well, if anything, it's like my punishment. If like if they're the charges, my punishment should be receiving a pension from the city of Athens. And they were like, "Fuck you, dude," because he was basically like, "That's what you guys do. You're putting that on me." He's yeah. Like, All I tell, I'm just telling the youth how sick fucking goodness, truth, and beauty is. And they're like, "Dude," and they, they they apparently were like sentenced to death. He could have gotten out of it. And he was like, "No, I'm drinking the fucking." He poison. drank the lock hemlock hemlock. He's like, "No, fuck that. I'm drinking the poison." He drank the lock. He's they're like, Martin. "Dude, just say." He drank. Dude, they're like, "Just say." He's like, "I I literally can't lie, dude." He's like, "I'm not doing that." So Joe he fucking. Rogan. Dude, for sure, he drank the hemlock. He's Rogan, dude. He drank the hemlock, and dude, he had a wife. He was seven years old. He had, a wife. he had a wife with a little kid. She was like, "Please don't do that." And he goes, "Dude, will someone get my wife out of here? She's fucking crying." Take her the fuck out. Harshing the vibes, like, "Babe, I love you, but come on, man, I'm, I'm dying. Who cares? I'm getting released to the true forms, dude. Who cares?" Yeah, dude, this is basement time. It's fucking. Anyway. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> so then he get her out of here. I'm dying. He gets in there. He gets in there, and he's like, "His bro, sorry." It's every like, man's dream, too. Oh Just yeah, babe, babe. I'm dying. I'm a Don't soldier of philosophy, dude. I die now. I'm going. I'm going. Re- I'm getting released from yes. the imperfections. So he's sitting there, and uh, so then finally he's like, "They're like, here's the hemlock." They're like, "Dude, please, you can get exiled. Like, you can do a million different things." He's like. Oh, just crushes the hemlock and they're like everyone starts crying all of his followers are like no and he's like what the fuck I would have sent you out here with my wife stop crying you pussies dude Whoa. crushes him he's like I thought that's why I kicked the woman out of here because I don't want a bunch of cry babies you guys straighten the fuck up what are you doing completely he's like shut up and he just sat there chilled and they're like yo when you can't feel your legs let us know you can sit down and he just laid down and he started just like just sitting there talking shit eventually he's like alright and he laid down fucking damn died that's awesome. And his whole thing was that if he was like, if you, he's like the physical reality is one thing, but if you can contact the absolute depths of goodness and truth, there's like forms above our physical resistance that are utterly perfect. And he's like, and you'll know when you hit them. And then he died for truth and went down to immor- immortality. And it's like, damn, dude. Everyone's like, that's not real. And he hit them. And it's like, well, it kind of is. That seems pretty legit. Kind of is, dude. Crushed it. And yeah. I mean, he was the big guy being like, if, if a democracy is rudderless, It'll it'll crash and burn. Yeah, the bros need to be pumped up, and he was like, they did it. And it... you want to know a good a good last words type thing? What similar to that? It reminds me of, in the Dahmer doc and Ed Gein. Did mm-hmm. we talk about this before? No. Ed Gein was a guy who was was it Ed Ge- or no John Wayne Gacy or was it Gein? It was Ge- one of them who talked shit at the execution. I the Dahmer, which they were talking one. Shit no, one of them was a serial killer. I think it was Gacy. Okay, okay. He was like torturing dudes. He killed mm-hmm. a fuck ton of people. And then the families were there to watch him get his lethal injection. And like, do you have any last words? And he like looks into the, into the glass where the families are. He's like, yeah, fuck you guys, you fucking pussies. <laughs> <laughs> and they killed him. <laughs> Dude, it was so funny to be that fucking, that big of a sack of shit. Like the whole family, was, the, the families were there like finally resolution. We get to watch this guy. He's going to probably, you know, be sad. Like, do you have any last words? He's like. Fuck you guys, you fucking assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the guy who ran over uh, the grandmoms? Did you see his court deposition? No. <laughs> a guilty verdict. I, it came up on my thing. They're, they're trying to divide us, dude. As for it, me. It grandma, came up on my thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> grandma dude. got run over by a black guy. <laughs> dude, it came up on my We feed. can't do it again. You can't. But dude, it's very funny. The guy... Came up on my feed. The guy gets sentenced and some guy just erupts. Dude, just goes, you fucking piece of shit. Burn in hell. And you see the guy catch news that he's going to jail for the rest of his life. And he's like, and then the guy yells at at him. And you see him just like, and then he gets roasted in the comments, dude. Really? Oh, he got destroyed. Oh, he was being a sissy. He was getting made fun of. People were just like, fuck this guy. Thank you for telling him he was a piece of shit. Everyone was like, fuck this guy. I mean, I thought you were going to say he chirped back and was like, fuck you, pussy. No, dude. He literally just went, he he received the news that he was going to jail for life. And then he was like, he was like literally oh. spinning, and then some guy was like, "You know, you're burning hell, you piece of shit." And he was, <laughs> <laughs> you see him take that in and go, <sighs> "Yeah, everybody's and then, dude, so if mad." If he at ever me. checks the comments of that video, dude, he's gonna check the comments. Oh, dude, he's gonna, he's he's gonna be in prison. He's oh. fried. Imagine that. We he, check the comments. And you get to go out and have a good time. That's what I'm saying. Can you imagine you're, checking the comments and being in a bed, just like, oh. and everyone's like, "Burning hell, you piece of fuck. fucking shit." 
Not it's, like this guy's a fucking pussy. This guy used to be funnier. This <laughs> is fucking. You want to stay? You, you got to stop the comments. Yeah. If you're in prison, no comments. No, Time man. to read the Bible and say I am religious now. Yes. I've actually, I'm better. Yeah. Than you guys. I mean, there's no all the play. victims and their families. I'm better than you. I'm, I forgive I'm, you guys. I forgive for you guys you for me. locking me up. <laughs> 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 yeah, hitting, the, hit, getting executed, and hitting a family with like a. <laughs> Fuck you, pussies! Is so funny. Yeah, fuck he's you. Like, Shove it up your ass, you fuck. He said, kiss my ass. Kiss my oh ass. Oh my dude. god. Kiss my ass to the families, dude. <laughs> How rude. It's the rudest. All they wanted was to watch this guy kind of whimper or this, like this dude did it. He gave it up. He was like, uh, like yeah. starting to whimper and break. That guy didn't break, dude. That's dude, crazy. Kiss my ass. Have the mental constitution. You're about like, to get executed by the state and just being like, kiss my ass. Fuck you. That's crazy. Sorry, I killed your fucking pussy kids. <laughs> Can you imagine not giving a fuck on that level? I mean, he was you fucked up. He was a retarded guy. He would dress like a clown and like <laughs> torture and rape people to death. <laughs> That's not giving a fuck. Yeah, he didn't give a fuck. People always say, I don't give a fuck. He had it's no like, fucks eh, left. None at all. Was, Literally, they were like, dude, you got one fuck left. Like, I can't Please even, dude. Like, I can't kiss even. My KMA, dude. For real, kiss my ass. I'm about to, get, about to get injected with poison. Suck my dick. Jesus Christ. There's one guy who was, was Go Raiders. I think I've said it 900 fucking times. I say it every day. What? One guy's last words were Go Raiders. He's an Oakland Raiders fan. They were executing him. <laughs> Do you have any last words? Like, Go Raiders. They're one in five. <laughs> they fucking suck. <laughs> now they're in Vegas. He gave his life up for nothing. <sighs> Do you have any other good last words? There's Let me get a some. lot of good ones. There's one, Jimmy Glass, uh, that killed two women, said, I'd rather be fishing. Oh, hit him with good. the bumper sticker. Some guy had a good like limerick. He said, uh, "Whether a king or a street sweeper, we all meet the Grim Reaper." <laughs> then they fry him. Like, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Well, see you there. Nice. These are good. Keep going. These are uh, fun. Amelia Dyer, thought to have murdered four hundred children in the eighteen nineties, said, "I have nothing to say," and they just killed her. That's okay. a good one. Yeah. Well, she got framed. Yeah, you 400. Think? You can't kill 400 kids. Yeah, true. Oh, you can kill 400 <laughs> kids then. She's a pediatric nurse. Yeah, you can, true, hit, them you can hit them with a little. They're nasty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, this makes me feel good to do this for some reason. <laughs> I kind of liked that. I'm going to do it to 400 more kids. 40 cc's. Come on, go, dog. There's so many. Eh? Take, yeah, us, out. Take read us out. Take us out with the final, final Francis Two Gun Crowley's last words were, "You sons of bitches, give love to my mother." That's a good one. Give what to my mother? You sons give of bitches, love. give love to give my love mother. To my mother. Tough, tough That's guy. Sick. That's and he got hung. I imagine he sounds like yeah, a gallows like type fellow. Yeah, he's a murder and a crimin criminal. <laughs> oh no, he got he got. They zapped. would hit him with fucking like horse thieves. He zapped oh, yeah. to death. He got stabbed to death. No electric chair. Oh, sick. Nice. Uh, that had to hurt like fucking hell, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. That would stink. Did you ever hit a fucking socket? Yeah. That would stink. Imagine like <laughs> fucking 10,000 times that. Do you, you hear your brain like... <laughs> they do Shoot jokes yourself. too. This guy that's last name was Fries said, uh, how's this for a headline? French fries. And then they Yeah, said, I knew that one. I knew that one. That's crazy. Nice. nice. This one lady got freaking gas chambered and it just scrolled away in 51. I didn't know they were gas so chambered yeah, killing. Gas you up. Oh, yeah. I guess they were doing we a lot did, of gas. Well, we did take time. some of the Nazis dude over. He <laughs> 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 took their technology from there. Yeah. <laughs> this guy said, the lady got gas? Beam me up. <laughs> yeah. He said, beam me up? Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's fucking seven. awesome, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Lethal injection. Yeah. The girl who got gas said, uh, wait, let me try to find it because it was pretty weird. But it yes. wasn't very funny. She said, "Like you people always are always certain you're right, or good people are always certain they're right." And then they, and then they fried her. I don't even know what that means. Yes. Yeah, that'd be that'd be tough to fuck up yeah. those last words. Yeah, man. Like good uh, people always think they're yeah. right. Son of a fucking. Fuck. Ah. The road to hell is paved with bad fuck. <laughs> Dead. Oh uh, damn! They gave some guys. This guy said, "I did not get my spaghettios. They gave me spaghetti, and I want the press to know this." Fuck yeah, dude! These are some good dudes. <laughs> they like killing themselves. They like best like, For real, I was promised spaghettios. Yeah, and I got bullshit ass regular spaghetti. Uh, I will haunt you. 
French oh. fries. Let's do it. <laughs> Gary Gilmore. <laughs> Shout out Gary Gilmore, dude. <laughs> <laughs> 1977. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's do oh, it. Oh, he got firing squad. Firing squad. Was he in Utah? There was one guy whose last wish. He was the last firing squad. I'm not sure. It doesn't say where he is. There was one guy that was like. Really? He got the death penalty and he was like, I demand firing squad. Oh, like, sweet. All right, bro. That's a good way to go. That's it. It says, fun fact, this inspired the Nike logo. I don't know if that's a joke or not. It's that's a, a fucked up joke, yeah, Sean. That's a that's, no, it, no. That's what it says. In I the, know, I'm kidding. Sean. Let's do it. We're we're done. Done. We're I have to go to the World we're Series. Good. Yeah, baseball. Yeah, we're good. Enjoy the World Series. Bye, everybody. Bye. What's up, gang? I'm Toby Pictarin, and not only am I a military vet, but I'm also a grilled meat connoisseur. I went through hell and back to defend this country. Now I'm traveling all over it to find the best greasy grub. <laughs> When I was in war, I went through a pretty traumatic experience that left my memory fragmented, but my taste buds perfectly intact. <laughs> Whoa! And sure, sometimes... Oh. Fuck! Whoa, not cool, gang. <laughs> but I'll never forget these tasty flavors, so join me while I'm trying to remember who I am with some unforgettable food. I am the Grill Sergeant. I'm here at Rudo's Hot House, where I hear he's got a spicy chicken dish that's hotter than napalm. Let's check it out, gang. Hey, nice pork job, asshole. Hey, I'll beat the fuck out of you. I'll bust your ass, boy. It's too spicy. You don't fuck with me. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. What's up, guys? I'm here with Rudo, and this is his world-famous spicy chicken. Rudo, what's your secret to this stuff? Well, I'll tell you what, Toby. It's all about the spices. Ain't that true, brother? Back in the military, we used to have a saying. Oh, shit! Where's his leg? Ah, oh, he's gone! <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Tell me about these spices, Rudo. Yeah, uh, so we're just gonna slide in some uh, cornstarch right there. That's cornstarch. And then a little bit of uh, garlic powder, super important. Garlic powder. <laughs> And then a little bit of a cinnamon. Cinnamon? Yeah, it's really You're gonna crazy, make- crazy, <laughs> Rudo. It is crazy. It's really gonna make the flavors explode. Oh. 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 Real smooth. Because if you do it with a machine, it might be too powdery. It's not gonna fry too good. Okay. Ah! <laughs> you motherfucker! I just love the Crunchiness on the outside. I know what you did, you son of a bitch! What? Juicy chicken on the inside. Are you I'm so sorry! I don't really like the Chinese shit on the walls. That's why I don't wear my glasses. This chicken is unreal. Jesus Christ! It's okay, he's just having a flashback. Uh, You're doing great. Uh, Talk a little bit more about the spices, the cinnamon. That's a little goofy, huh? Uh, 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 you know what I love about this restaurant? They play loud music in the bathrooms. What the fuck, man? Ah! Okay. Ah! Can you just get back to the chicken? Can you get back to the chicken? Wow, that chicken's not half bad. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, Rudo, you can really taste that center. You want a bag of ice? Yeah, a bag of ice might help. You dinged me up pretty good back there, Haruto. Also, the spice is getting into the wounds pretty bad. That's it for Haruto's spicy chicken. Wow, that stuff had a kick. Coming up next week, we're headed to Denver Jesus to check out. Christ, are you all right? Yeah, I'm driving around a convertible eating pussy and sandwiches for a living, asshole. Fuck you, suck my dick. No! What the fuck is your problem?